Howdy, I'm Daniel with Raws and Regs, and welcome to a tie-dye sweatshirt tutorial. I am taking the drawstrings and folding them into them themselves and using a rubber band to hold it together. The sweatshirt has been soaked in a soda ash solution and it is slightly damp. For the sleeves, I'll take my arm and put it through the sleeve and from the cuff to the shoulder, I do a loose crinkle fold um, until it is about two inches deep. And I just kind of take my arm through the sleeve and from the cuff, I will feed it into itself all the way up to the shoulder. Then I will do a loose crinkle fold around the rest of the design. I'll take the hood and fold it into the center of the design in a scrunch pattern. And the whole design is about an inch and a half to two and a half inches, depending on the material. I believe this is a uh, 10 ounce fabric. I'm using size 16 and 19 rubber bands and I'm putting them around the design and as I put them on I will finish off the crinkle folds from the the rough fold that I did initially. Once I put the rubber bands on it will lock the folds into the design a little bit better than if it was just loose without rubber bands. I'm putting the larger bands along the uh, wider sections of the sweatshirt and the smaller rubber bands along the thinner sections of the design. And I want to have enough rubber bands on the design that I can move it around. Here I'm using yellow Procyon MX Fiber Reactive Dye. I'm trying to put it from the edges of the sleeves and on the center of the hood. And I'm just putting yellow right in the center of it. Now I'm using orange dye. I'm putting that on the edge of the yellow and a little bit on top of the yellow dye. Here is red dye that I'm putting along the edge of the orange and then a little bit on top of the orange and on top of the orange and the yellow. These d colors kind of soak in and they blend well together. Here is purple dye that I'm putting along the very edge of the design. And I'd like the dye to be about halfway through the material of the sweatshirt. I'm putting the purple around the entire outer edge of the sweatshirt. I use about four teaspoons per eight ounces of water. Now I've arbitrarily marked the center of the sweatshirt and I'm putting bright green Procyon dye from the middle of the sweatshirt out to the edge. And on this half of the sweatshirt, I'm using turquoise Procyon dye to um, put on the cotton. Now I'm using a darker color on top of the uh, green and the blue. I'll put the sweatshirt in a bag for 24 hours before I wash it out. Thanks for watching. Have fun dying.